I've always thought that it'll be really amazing if we can run GGML, which is the quantized model with Langchain. And that is possible thanks to C transformers and Langchains. So in this video, you're going to learn how to use Llama 2 GGML model with Langchain to do anything from the LLM chain. To start with, you're just like live seeing the demo where I've asked a question why some days are terrible and it is actually answering me. You can also see the speed. It's not amazingly fast, but it does the job. Like this could be really helpful if you are doing a batch process or something like that. So let me take you from step by step about what we are doing here. The first thing that you need to keep in mind, this entire thing is happening on CPU. So central processing unit without any NVIDIA GPU. So there is no graphics memory involved. And this G CPU is of 12 GB RAM. So if with the 12 GB RAM, this is the speed that you're seeing live. So first of all, if you want to use any model, all you have to do is go to the bloke who is one of the prolific quantized model releaser. You can pick the GGML model that you like from there and you can come here. So within the GGML model, you would see multiple quantization methods and you would see the details here. Like what is this model? Or what kind of quantization method is used? Whether it is 2-bit, 3-bit, 4-bit, 5-bit, 6-bit, 8-bit. The higher the quantization level is, the lesser the accuracy drop would be. So this is something that you need to keep in mind. And uh, the higher the quantization method is, you would have um, you would have like you would need more resources as well. So, for example, if you take the eight bit quantized quantized model, then this is almost indistinguishable from float 16, but also it requires high resource use and it is slow. So keep in mind about all these trade offs that you have to do here. This table does a really good job of explaining that. So you can pick the model that you want and you can come to this Google Colab notebook. Let me stop this thing. So I'm going to tell you everything from the start. The first thing that you need to do is you need to install two libraries. That's all, just two libraries, C transformers and Langchain. Once you install the two libraries, the next thing that you need to do is you need to do three imports. The first one is from Langchain.llms, you need to do C transformers. Make sure that your C and T are uppercase. So once you do that, the second thing that you have to do is from Langchain, import prompt template LLM chain. I mean, you can literally do everything together as well, but I'm just making it easier for you to understand. So prompt template is going to help us define the prompt template as the name suggests. LLM chain is going to help us create the LLM chain, the chain of Langchain. From Langchain.callbacks.streaming underscore SD out, we are going to import this callback handler that helps us do the streaming output, like how we saw the streaming output, just like how ChatGPT would typically give you the output. Once you have imported everything, then define the LLM object, C transformers, Specify the model repo in Hugging Faces model up. If you have got it in the local repository, you can give the local file path and then specify the particular model inside that folder what you want. So imagine this is the folder in which you're going to say where the models exist. And this is the specific, like the right model name that is there. And you're going to specify the streaming SD out callback handler just to give the streaming output. Once you download the model, it's going to take a couple of minutes. Once you download the model, if you are doing this on Google Colab, you have to do this every single time. If you are doing this on your local computer, you don't have to do this every single time because your model already exists in that particular place. If you are doing this on Google Colab, it is going to download the model every single time. Once you have done that, then you're going to specify the prompt template. This is a typical prompt template that we use with the Llama 2 models. I tried this model even without this particular prompt template, it worked completely fine. So I'm not sure like how useful this prompt template is, but this prompt template will at least help you in setting the context. In this case, I've helped, I've set up the context saying you are a helpful and respectful and honest assistant. Your answers are always brief. And this is the template that I've given. And if you see here, this is the object that we're going to send. So whatever question that we're going to ask here or whatever comment that we're going to say, that is going to ideally go inside this text and that is how this template works. You're going to compose the prompt template using prompt template. You would assign it to the object called prompt. Template is equal to template that comes from this. The input variable goes inside text. So at this point, our prompt template is ready. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to define an LLM chain and the LLM chain takes two arguments. One is the prompt that we just defined. The second one is LLM, which we just created above. So we have got the prompt template ready. From that prompt template, we have created the LLM chain. So our LLM chain is ready. At this point, all we have to do is do LLM underscore chain dot run that will actually start displaying or streaming the output for us. So the question I asked is why some days are tradable. 
and it started answering me all these things let me go ahead and ask a slightly more shorter question so i'm going to say what is the capital of india so i'm going to just ask this question as you can see it's going to take a bit of time because it has to process all these things and then come to the question and then it is going to start answering you so that's why the longer your prompt template is the longer it is going to take in responding that's something that you need to keep in mind so we'll also try it without this particular prompt template so you understand how this goes so for our question what is the capital of india the right answer is new delhi and you would actually see that it is going to try to answer the longer sentence and that's exactly why we have given inside this prompt template that your answers are always brief so it says the capital of new De india is new delhi and it ended it took 30 seconds 38 seconds for this answer despite being a very short question despite we specifying in the system context that the answer should be brief so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just simply remove this entire thing i don't want to set up any system system pa uh, system information and all i'm going to do is i'm going to just give this thing in fact if you want you can just further go and then say you know question is question answer is answer but i'm going to just give this and then i'm going to run this and then run this and ask the same question so now we didn't specify any context saying that your answer should be brief so it's going to simply take our text as input without much of system context and it is going to give us an output so you would understand like how the prompt the responses vary and how much time it takes as you might have noticed that it actually took lesser time than before because the prompt template has less input but you can see that it goes on and saying that capital of india is new delhi uh, however it's worth noting that there are several other cities and it you know it just goes on and on so the point here is that what you are going to see here is the trade off the trade off is you can make the prompt template slightly bigger with system context or you can play with the prompts in itself so for example i can say what is the capital of india but make sure you give the answer in one word so i can give this so instead of specifying a generic prompt template to for it to be brief i am giving that extra information for in context learning uh, inside my prompt in itself so i'm expecting it to read this entire thing and then come up with me come up with one word answer or you know a very brief answer so that's the idea here so again it messed up here because it it is quantized model and it didn't do a good job here so maybe it is a good good option to specify everything inside prompt than giving all these things here so we'll ask the same question that i asked before at the start of the video why some days are terrible and let's see how fast it is going to start like you would have seen the start of the video if you didn't notice you can go back and then see at the start of the video how much time it took for you to respond back but now ideally it should be faster than before because the prompt template has lesser words or lesser tokens for it to process so it says there are several reasons why some days might may be more challenging or difficult than others and it is going to go on and then give us you know details about why some days are going to be terrible anyways whether some days are terrible or not but today is not a terrible day because we have learned how to use langchain with llama 2 ggml model ggml is a quantized model that is equipped to run on cpus so if you have got a cpu if you have got let's say mac apple silicon models these models would run extremely well and uh, in this video we learned how to run this like once again just to show you that this is running on cpu and it is running pretty fine to be honest like for a 12 gb ram it runs fine and there are ways you can optimize this and you can specify the type of the model if you have got like more powerful machine and you can also play with the prompt template if you wanted to do certain other tasks like for example you wanted to be a historian you wanted to be a teacher you wanted to be a translator you wanted to be something else then you can specify that inside the template and then start asking question and then it is going to uh, give an answer so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you i'm further exploring more options how we can take these large language models and run it on consumer hardware just like you know on cpu and also do certain tasks like document question and answering if you have any other question please let me know in the comment section otherwise i would strongly encourage you to watch my very recent video on langchain with llama 2 where we try to do document question and answer or simply question and answering and i'm exploring document question and answering in the next section so if you 
subscribe you will get notified thank you so much for watching this video see you in another video happy prompting